I am Jason Knight, and this is Forged. Jason Knight was born on the 25th of September, 1966, in Charleston, South Carolina, USA. He is an American bladesmith and TV personality, widely recognized for his award-winning work as a knife maker and for appearing as a judge in the third season of Forged in Fire on the History Channel. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Early Life and Education Jason's interest on blades started in his early years, when his father read him books by Edgar Rice Burroughs, while his mother sewed him costumes to play fantasy games with his cousins. Jason soon found himself drawing and creating toy blades and knives, even during his childhood, as his fascination for medieval settings, stories, and attires continued to grow. Jason started creating his own knives seriously while studying at St. George High School, showing his creations to other knife makers and collectors when he attended Southeastern Wildlife Exposition each year. Interested in American Native culture as well, Jason often attended various powwows, where he met and started a long-lasting friendship with other young blade creators Daniel Winkler and Karen Shook. In 1992, Winkler's creations were featured in the movie The Last of the Mohicans, which inspired Knight to take his passion for knife making to the next level. Although there's no other specific information about Jason's parents and family, their support for his hobby was evident, as he was gifted a grinder during his teens, and in 2001, his grandma supported him to participate in a two-week-long course at Bill Moran School. He recalled, She paid for my class. It was awesome. This course wasn't wasted, though, as he not only enjoyed it a lot, but also pushed his career forward, leading him to win his first award the same year in California as Best New Maker. After that, Knight gained the recognition of other people in the knife-making business for his style, saying, I never stopped. I dedicated as many hours to it as I could just to learn. That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. Pretty instantly, I developed a style that is very recognizable because I like the flow of curves and lines. He added in a YouTube video on his channel that my knives would work, but they were very different looking than everyone else's. That was sexy and it made me popular in the knife making world instantly because I was doing something a little different. For the following year, Jason's blacksmithing was rewarded a variety of times, including recognition as Knife of the Year by the South Carolina Association of Knife Makers in 2002, and Best Non-Damascus Hand Forged Prize at the Blade Show and International Cutlery Fair in 2004. The same year, he was honored by Blade Magazine with a Handmade Award for Best Non-Damascus Hand Forged Knife, and in 2006, he was awarded Best Fighter at Arkansas Knife Makers Association show. Despite his success as a custom knife maker, Jason's pursuit for further knowledge of the blacksmithing art led him to complete a journeyman rating in 2003. Subsequently, obtaining a mastersmith rating in 2007 granted by ABS. The same year he was given the B.R. Hughes Award for creating the best knife as a mastersmith candidate and he received a Bill Moran Award by ABS and a Handmade Award for Best Bowie by Blade Magazine, both in 2008. In 2010, Jason was champion of the Battle of the Bladesmith at the ABS Great Smoky Mountain Symposium. As of today, Jason Knight is a specialist in curved bladed knives and kukris. His work is known not only for his mastery in blacksmithing, but also for bringing innovation in the blades he creates. In 2016, Jason joined the third season of Forged in Fire, replacing fellow master blacksmith and judge of the show, Jay Nelson, who temporarily left the series to recover from hand surgery. Knight's presence as one of the four show's judges continued until Nelson's return in its fourth season. Airing on History Channel since its premiere in 2015, Forged in Fire is a show in which participants compete to win a $10,000 prize through forging a variety of weapons in three elimination rounds. Although contestants are often blacksmith enthusiasts, they are usually well known in the profession, ensuring that they are capable of working with set metalworking equipment. 
Medical personnel are present during every episode, guaranteeing the safety of contestants and staff. Despite being a show focused on the use and creation of weapons, Forged in Fire has received good reviews from audience and experts. Jason's estimated 30,000 hours of experience in blacksmithing has allowed him to offer online courses on custom knife making on his official webpage, Night Forge Studio, with the motto, Become the Renaissance. In his courses, Knight addresses the creation process of every piece he makes, from conception to design, construction, and delivery. In Forged, Jason Knight Maker Series, he shared his personal experiences and his students get to know his private studio and preferred tools. Jason Knight is very active on his YouTube channel, sharing a variety of videos in TV show format. On his channel, he advocates for craftsmanship, saying, being a maker means making a difference with yourself and spreading what you know, not to see what you can get or to see what you can take away. Making a difference is going out there and just very simply changing your own attitude, starting with one person. It starts with you and you sharing information. Jason encourages people to pursue creative career advocating. I don't care if you're making jewelry or you're making glass or pottery, or you make a painting and you do blacksmithing. You're something different, doing something with your hands and with your mind. He continues talking about the importance of sharing knowledge with other people. I love to do it because I want to keep it alive. And every one out of 20 or 30 people you show this to, they're going to be the next generation who's going to go, I'm carrying this on. I'm part of this renaissance forever. I'm going to share this like it was shared to me. Jason now also has a podcast show entitled Beyond the Edge of Night. In his personal life, Jason is married to Shelley. Although there's no further information about the couple, it's known that they have been together since the early 90s. Shelley has been supportive of his career for years and currently manages his private studio. The couple has two children who have inherited their father's talent. Older son Tristan is a graphic designer, illustrator, and bladesmith, while daughter Tiger Lily is an avid knife maker. The family lived in Harleyville, South Carolina, then in 2018, moved to Tri-Cities in Washington State. As of mid-2020, Jason Knight has an estimated net worth of over $3 million, which is a result of his awarded work as a custom knife maker and blacksmith and salary from appearing in Forged in Fire. Jason Knight is a man of white ethnicity who has dark brown hair and eyes. His long bushy beard and preference for black clothes gives him a tough looking appearance, but his weight and height are unknown. Other interesting facts about Jason is that he was taught the art of blacksmithing by master bladesmith Jay Hendrickson. Subsequently, in an interview with Golf Kitchen, Middleton made knives owner and creator Quentin Middleton revealed that Jason Knight was his instructor. I began working in a local mall, selling knives, cigars, and memorabilia swords. One day, Jason Knight came in to buy a sword and told me that he made knives for a living. I asked him, can you teach me how to make knives? After this, he became my mentor. In Forged in Fire, Jason shared screen time as a judge with martial artist and weapon specialist Doug Marqueda and weapons history expert David Baker. Finally, Jason collaborated with Shop Wilson Combat to create Dark Knight Gunmetal Damascus Bowie. Despite each of these special Damascus pattern blades being worth over $1,000, they were sold out in record time. My occupation before being a bladesmith was a dreamer, and that's all I did was dream about stuff. I never actually acted upon it. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.